Hi, hello, good morning children. I am Vijay Lakshmi from Tiny Tots group of schools. I am teaching social studies for third class children. Already we completed two sessions about the universe, the lesson number one. We came to know how, what is the meaning of universe and how it is formed and what is the Milky Way, Milky Way galaxy and what are the planets and about sun and what are the features of planets. We came to know all these in the completed two sessions. I will explain one more time. The universe is what, what exists, everything which exists, everything in the world that is called universe and it is formed by Big Bang. And because of the Big Bang, the sun, the planets, the comets, asteroids, meteors and satellites, everything were formed. Everything were formed. So, we are in the solar system in the Milky Way galaxy. We have the sun, sun is a star and eight planets also. Eight planets also. They have different, different features. They have different, different features. Today, in this session, I am going to explain about the satellites. Already I told you, because of the Big Bang, nearly 180 satellites were formed. 180 satellites were formed. Satellite means, what is the meaning of satellite? It is also a heavenly body. And it is a smaller companion which revolves around which revolves around the planets. It is a small companion which revolves around the planets. And already I told you our eight planets are revolving around the sun. These satellites also revolve around the planets in the in their own orbits. In their own orbits. And I will explain what are satellites now. See, these are heavenly bodies. And these are the smaller companions which revolves around the sun and the planets. And these, these, these are natural or sometimes these are man-made also. We are sending artificial satellites. We are sending artificial satellites. And we are unnaturally made satellites also there, like moon. And natural man-made satellites are also there. Man-made satellites are also there. These satellites, man-made satellites are very useful for, for the communication, like TVs and mobiles like that. And uh, they are they are warning us, they are warning us to know about the tsunamis or floods or, or whatever we are getting problems. They are warn, giving warning to us priorly about the storms and the, about cyclones also. So these satellites are very very useful to us. So I, I think you came to know about satellite. Satellite is the smaller companion which revolves around the planets and these are heavenly bodies. These are all in solar system only and they revolve around the planets in their axis. Axis means path of or way, how they are moving, that is called axis. And these planets are all revolving around the sun, so these are also revolving. And next one, these are natural and some are man-made also. And there are nearly 180 satellites. And the, what is the use of these satellites? These are very, very useful for communication purposes. And they are, they are giving information about the natural disasters and what is happening throughout the world. What is happening throughout the world. Okay. So, this is about satellite. This is about satellite. Now, I am going to say about the movement of the planets. The movement of the planets. See, there are nearly two types of movements. There are nearly two types of movements. There, there are nearly two types of movements. 
okay see one is revolution one is revolution and second one is and second one is rotation and second one is rotation one is revolution and second one is rotation there are two types of movements what are they movements what are they movements see listen here there are two types of movements there are two types of movements there are two types of movements of plants one is rotation and second one is revolution one is rotation and second one is revolution rotation now i i say about rotation the spinning the spinning means moving around moving around the spinning of the the spinning of the planets in their imaginary axis these are not really drawn not really drawn circles or not really drawn paths these are all imaginary imaginary means oha jeritamaina kalpitamaina oha jeritamaina ledha kalpitamaina axis axis means the path or the way which they are going on which they are going on around they are going in their own way own way they are going in their own way this is called rotation this is called rotation the spinning the spinning of the spinning of the planets in their in their imaginary axis in their own way that is called rotation that is called rotation and another one is revolution and another one is revolution see the spinning of the planets revolving around the sun revolving around the sun in the elliptical and fixed orbits elliptical and fixed orbits that is elliptical and fixed orbits they are going in same way they are not moving this side or this side if they move just a little bit also there will be lot of damages lot of damages the elliptical and fixed orbit those are called those are that is called revolution that is called revolution so how many types of planetary movements are there there are two types of planetary movements one is rotation and second one is revolution see look at this sir ma see here are eight planets here are eight planets eight planets see this planet these are called orbits or axes the circular drawn around the sun in the fixed path these are called orbits or axes they are going in their in their fixed orbits only if they move this side or this side there will be lot of damages or problems so there are eight planets and they are moving moving around the sun in their fixed orbits there are two planetary movements one is rotation and another one is revolution this is about our universe this is about our universe now i will ask you some questions say say children i will ask you some questions see what is the meaning of universe universe means something something which exists something which the totality of everything which exists that is called universe the totality of everything which exists how universe is formed universe is formed because of the big bang because of the big bang a fire ball was created later it was cooled gradually and big lot of energy was released out we from that energy the sun the moon the sun the planets and galaxies asteroids comets and meteors and satellites were formed satellites were formed how many planets are there we have eight planets how many planets are there we have eight planets jupiter is the biggest planet mercury mercury is the closest planet to the sun and mars is called red planet and uranus is a blue green planet blue green planet venus is called morning and evening star morning and evening star so there there is a different 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 difference between each each planet each planet and and 
satellites. These there are nearly variety satellites and they are companions. Companion means which are closer, which are closer to the planets. They re revolve around the planet. And these planets are revolving around the sun in their fixed orbits. Fixed orbits. This is about satellite. And there are two types of planetary movements. One is rotation and another one is revolution. They are spinning. See the spinning of planet in, in their own way, in their imaginary axis is called rotation. The spinning of planets around the sun in elliptical and fixed way is called rotation. This is about this is about the universe. I'll ask you four questions. Ma, say true or false. See, Uranus is the biggest planet. Is this true or false? False. Mercury is the red planet. Is this true or false? False. Moon is the satellite. Is this true or false? True. Moon is the satellite for Earth. For Earth. What? Where is the light in all those planets? On the Earth only. On the Earth only. Human beings are living on the Earth only. In any other planet, the human beings are not living. There is no life at all. There is no life at all. Where can we see all these planets and uh, sun? In the solar system. In the solar system. Where is solar system? In the Milky Way. Where is Milky Way? Milky Way is in galaxy. Okay. So, this is about, this is about the universe. Okay. Now, I will give you one homework, one activity for you. You draw the picture of sun like this and you draw the eight planets. You draw eight planets and draw their axis, axis like this. Orbits also on an A4 sheet. First you have to take one A4 sheet and you draw sun in the middle of the A4 sheet. Imagine that A4 sheet is uh, the solar system. And you have to draw the sun in the middle, middle of the page and draw eight circles around the sun. Why? Because we have eight planets. So draw eight circles around the sun. And in, for each circle, for each circle, you, you draw one planet and you put, you write the name of the planet also. This is uh, your homework. The homework is a solar system. The homework is a solar system. Okay. Bye children.